What's up my dudes, Val here, and today we're going to be showcasing what I believe is probably going to be the best current iteration of the Hunter's Instinct team. Um, let me bring it up, you guys can see there's actually a lot of really good units on this uh, category. I think it's actually a pretty decent category. Uh, I don't think it's anything crazy, but with a good solid update, this, uh, this could be actually a pretty worthwhile team. So we have Sung Jin Woo, we have Toji, we have Metallica, but I was wanting to run Metallica, but I just don't, there's just not a really good bleed other than like Yata, but Yata's not going to be able to cover it fast enough to really justify using Metallica. Um, Killua's pretty good, I don't know if you guys have used Killua, but you can see the amount of damage I got on him, that's in three runs. Killua's actually a really good unit. Adorante is currently the lead, she is 110% uh, attack, minus 10 cost. She's currently the lead for the team, so we have to use her. And then Gone is also really good. I still got to grind a little bit of damage on Gone, but it's not that big a deal. Yeah, all in all, super solid team. It's just like, it's not anything crazy, but it's not bad either. It's just solid. It's just good. There's a lot of Hunter units on the Hunter's Instinct team. Go figure, right? Uh, so I'm wondering how much they're going to clash. So we're really going to do is just focus on Toji and getting Toji up and running. Uh, so he can actually kind of carry and get his uh, hunter really, really up and going. So we're going to try to let Toji scale up as much as possible. Uh, we're not going to really worry too much about Sung Jin Woo's hunter ability because hunt Sung Jin Woo is just raw power to begin with. He just got a bunch of good summons. The summons contend with his hunter passive anyways. So if you guys haven't seen a hunter run before, this is going to be kind of new to you guys. Uh, the fact that you kind of just let one unit kind of rule the game for a good little while uh but that's kind of essentially what a hunter run is is you just kind of let one unit do everything so we're gonna go ahead put down our ramen chad and then we're going to go ahead and put down toji and toji we're gonna put down over here because eventually he's gonna get to a point where he basically covers the entire map um and that's gonna be pretty fun so next up we're gonna do this Put on three times speed and once again just like before we're not doing any skip that way we have time to build up ramen guy and we're gonna let toji kind of just kill everything uh what's his early spa five with that range should be good i want to say uh should be but he is a line so he's gonna have some bleeders come through so uh we're gonna go ahead and actually just level this up first let this be it's fine if one gets through one if one or two gets through it's not a big deal it's not the end of the world uh, so we're going to go ahead and do this again, and then I think we want to start working on Toji from there. Um, we can put down somebody to help him, but it's not going to be like a permanent thing. We're going to have to remove them. So yeah, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the Adorante right here, and she's going to clean up anything that Toji misses, basically. And we're going to let Toji keep ramping up with Hunter. Hunter's going to increase his attack and let him get even higher up. So, yeah, that's going to be really nice in that regard. Uh, here, we're just going to give Toji some levels. That way, he can go ahead and start ramping up even more. Because he does get Circle and full AoE pretty quickly. I would rather have Circle rather than having a skinny line. I think lines are eh. Uh, so now that he has that we're gonna go back to ramen guy and like I said We don't want to put it on full skip until ramen guy is done and that's whenever we can put it on full skip But for this uh, we're probably gonna be good with it the way it is So now that that's done I think we're probably gonna end up selling and moving toji so I don't want to invest too much into him uh, Because we are going to end up moving him after a little bit uh, Just to get him here get him upgraded and all that so we're going to end up putting a Flower Magician down pretty much the same spot we had it before. It's just it's too much value to have a unit that can hit all of this at the same time. Which Toji absolutely can. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'll be wasting like 17k Hunter XP, but it's not a big deal. So let's do this. Then we're going to go ahead and put down a Flower Magician the second we get paid. Okay. And then we're going to... Once Flower Magician's down, we're going to max him. And then we're going to save up a good like 60k. And once we have the money saved up, that's whenever we're going to go ahead and sell Toji. Because you can see we're only on wave 6, so it's not a very big deal. And then we're going to put him into the middle. 
So like I said, until we're set up, we want to keep auto skip off. That way we give ramen guy as much time as humanly possible to basically get up and running. Uh, we can go ahead and sell you. You're not going to be needed anymore. And we just want to give ramen guy enough time to get us up to 60k. Probably by the time this wave's cleared, we'll be good to go. Probably. Um, let's see. Yeah, there we go. So now that we're at 60k, we're going to go here. And we're just going to just start maxing it out. So now we're full AoE, as you can see. And he's really going to be able to start ramping up that hunter. So now we can just start doing auto skip. Because now we're basically good. So now we're going to just simply hang out. We're not going to really be doing a lot. Uh, we're going to wait until they start pushing through. So probably for the next like 70 waves. Probably 50 waves. Uh, this is what we're going to see. It's just this. It's just chilling right here. Uh, no idol, no Naruto, no nothing like that. Well, he might have more range than Naruto. I'll have to wait and see. If he has more range than Naruto, then I'll put a Naruto down just so he can get more attack. Uh, but I don't want the Naruto taking his kills, basically, because the way Hunter works, you guys don't know the way Hunter works, increases attack by XP when this unit kills an enemy, so you want him killing as much stuff as humanly possible. You want him to just basically be committing genocide on the enemies. That way you can uh, get his attack stat as high as you can. Uh, Sung Jin Woo has a very similar function, but because of the way Sung Jin Woo works, it's not, he's not very efficient at it. Um, yeah, he's not very, you know, useful with it. So yeah. So yeah, now we just kind of chill out. Uh, it feels weird to just kind of chill out this quickly, but this is kind of how it works. It's kind of how Hunter works. So let's see if I max out a Naruto, right? Does he reach as far as Toji? The answer is no. The answer is yes, he reaches further because I didn't see him with the Flower Magician buff. So yeah, now we're just, now we just hang out. Uh, there's nothing for us to do now except just chill and wait for Toji to just ramp up. This is kind of where you're going to get your value out of Hunter units. But all in all, Hunter's Instinct as a category and as a team, even before the update, pretty solid. Um, I imagine the update's going to push it to a top category, if I had to guess. Uh, I could be wrong, like, absolutely could be wrong. And once again, this is only part one of the update. It like part two could absolutely send this category over to moon because like i said there's already a bunch of good units inside this category um already a bunch of really solid units inside the category so i'm really excited to see exactly where this goes or where this leads to so let's see uh yeah this is kind of why i don't like running hunter teams because they're kind of boring you kind of just sit here and just wait and just let the hunter unit just scale up. You guys can see he's already at 1.9 mil. Uh, we're only at wave 28. It's whenever they start living is whenever you need to start putting down support. Um, whenever they can start surviving for a second. Or whenever they can survive an attack or two. That's whenever I'll start uh, putting down like a Naruto or something to help them out. But hunter units can easily get to some crazy, crazy attack stats very, very, very quickly. So it's just a matter of just kind of letting them be letting them go ahead and do their thing so we're gonna go ahead and do this and just chill out but yeah all in all um i'm, I'm not like i said this is more leaderboard stuff this passive is basically purely for leaderboard uh because it's just too hard to actually get value out of hunter inside like 10 15 waves it's purely a leaderboard passive and as you guys know i don't really care about leaderboard so i'm not like the biggest fan of the hunter passive in general i don't i don't really care for it but uh i do acknowledge how strong it is and basically any unit with the hunter passive gets put on hunter instincts right so if hunter's instinct becomes a really good team it could end up shaking up a lot of stuff for leaderboard simply because of just the passive itself and how leaderboard centric it is so if this team ends up becoming really strong, I could see a world where maybe it goes into meta relevance purely because uh, just leaderboard. But at the end of the day, I don't know. Like I said, I don't run leaderboard. Don't take me talking about leaderboard too seriously. I don't run it. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm not the type of person that likes to spend hours of my life just doing what I'm doing right now. I don't even have enough ADHD to stand still. You think I can sit here and watch a wave of enemies and then just perfectly time my abilities? Like, 
I, I'm not, yeah, I can't even stand still whenever I'm recording a video, much less something like that. So, yeah, I'm not really a big leaderboard guy. So, yeah, hey, look, one finally pushed through, and then he died. So, um, did we put down a Naruto yet? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's time to put down a Naruto yet. I think we can probably squeeze. Yeah, we can probably squeeze a couple more ways out of this. Maybe about 55, we start putting down support and start actually building the field up. Um, because at that point, he's going to be so scaled up that he's going to steal, or still do the absolute most damage. Which is going to be good. Very, very good for us. But yeah, I think we can go ahead and do this now, right? Yeah, let's go ahead. Yeah, we can do this now. So we're going to go ahead and put down a Naruto. Uh, auto ability up. And now, with the auto ability up, you guys can see. Almost a 10 million attack stat. This is why Hunter's silly. Uh, Hunter's a very, very silly passive. It's really, really, really strong. It just lets you reach some crazy, crazy numbers. Um, this is why we were waiting. This is kind of why we were just sitting here yapping away while it ramps up. Because you just reach crazy, crazy, crazy numbers. Alright, so they're starting to push through a good bit. So we're going to go ahead and put down our Sung Jin Wu. And max him out all the way. And now that he's maxed out all the way, we can arise the Shadow Army. Uh, go ahead, call this in, call it that in, and then all the units he summons in are going to be super helpful. And you guys can hear the—I don't know if you can hear it—but the dog's just losing his mind in the background. Uh, he, he wants to play. It's playtime. Anyways, we're going to do this. We're going to set this to auto ability. Uh, yeah, we can only put down three. Uh, it's just like, this is just a nice little ability. Like I said, I think Adorante is actually pretty damn good, personally. Uh, but we do this. Buff attack times three. And yeah, you guys get you guys get the idea. She's pretty damn good, in my opinion. Um, does this count as like a self-buff? Like, does it overwrite Naruto's? Let me see. Let me see. This one's about to pop soon, right? Yeah, this one's going to pop here in a second. I'm actually genuinely curious about this. There's nothing else for me to put down anyways other than more Naruto, so... Let's see, the Naruto buff is on you, right? So, what happens when you hit your apple? When you take a chomper of your apple, let's see. Um, Naruto buff again. Yeah, not... Okay, so it's going to overlap here. So... Oh, okay. I see. It barely does anything. It does buff, but not the way you're thinking. Like, look, she even missed... Yeah, no, it it's its own unique attack buff, so you end up, like, colliding with the other attack buffs. Because if you look, she lost a Naruto buff there for a second. Now these two have lost a Naruto buff. That's kind of lame, but I get it, I guess. So, yeah, next we're going to go ahead and put down Naruto here. Naruto here, and then a Naruto here. And we're going to do this, we're going to auto ability, and we're going to do this. We're just going to keep cycling these Naruto buffs and just let them all get really, really strong. Uh, 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 yeah. So, go back here. Alright. Click you. Click you. Click you. Alright, cool. So, where is our Toji at now? Like, what attacks that is Toji at? Toji is now at 16 million attack. Yeah, I did tell you guys Hunter's silly. Uh, this is why you let Hunter kind of ramp up for a second on its own, because eventually you're going to reach a point where it reaches critical mass, and you get some really silly stuff happening. So, one, two, one, two. Yeah, and we're just going to use the other flower magicians for the stun, just like all the other runs, and we should be good to go on placements. Yippers. So now, uh, with our... Why is he only 17 mil now? Attack don't go down. That's not how that works. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why he was... Uh, why he was, had 19 million attack there for a second. Maybe it's 16. Maybe, maybe I need my coffee. Maybe my eyes just deceive me. Maybe he was only at 16 million. I'm going to assume he was at 16. But yeah, either way, uh, he's almost 20 million attacks that you guys can see how much like he's able to just rack up his attack. Uh, he can reach some really funny values. Um, let's go ahead and do this. 19.83. He's definitely going to break 20 mil before it's over. And yeah, this 
seems just good. Just a really, really strong team, all in all. Um, Sung Jin Woo is actually like, I know a lot of people ask me about him, like how good is he? And the answer is, he's good. Like, he's good, but nothing insane, right? And the reason for that being is there's a really, really big space. Like, look, this is called Raise the Shadow Army, right? There's actively three people, four people on the field right now. It's not much of an army. I don't think you're winning many wars with that one. I know he's got all the uh, summons he has behind him, but at the end of the day, these guys are, they don't spawn in nearly enough, nearly frequently enough to be called a shadow army. But uh, he is still a really good unit because he has a really high attack stat, like off rip. This is what I was talking about. He has a good attack stat off rip. His summons hit very hard. Like he's got a bunch of summons. All of them hit very, very hard. So yeah, here's Toji at the end of the run. Like we're definitely, this run's definitely almost over. You can see he's at 23 million attack stat. We reached almost basically wave 90. 6.2 million score all in all a solid team but nothing insane uh, i think the update's going to do a lot of work for it but let me know anyways thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one peace